Hey everyone, we are the only advanced life on our planet. Since the 19th century or earlier, we have run into different jungles or ices on our planet for exploration. Although our journey started from Africa, today our settlement can be found in almost every continent, with one exception, that is Antarctica. Although we have mapped the entire world today, our passion for exploration has not diminished. We now want to settle on some other planet or moon outside our planet. There could be many reasons, but when you think of colonization, which planet comes to your mind? Mars, right? Is it really possible to establish a human settlement on Mars? What difficulties we are going to fall into? Why is Titan is the best for a human settlement? What benefits can be found in it? You are going to know that in today's video. Four things are very essential for life. Water, oxygen, perfect temperature, and a shield to protect us from outside radiation. The question will come to your mind. There is none of this on Mars. Then why you are going to Mars? The main reason is that Mars is very similar to Earth and has a history where it is believed that Mars was once Earth-like. The sea was there, the shield was there, the temperature was there, but it did not find any sign of life. Mars is currently a quiet planet, but Mars has the largest volcanoes in our solar system. Anyway, colonizing Mars presents numerous significant challenges that need to be addressed for successful and sustainable human presence. These challenges span various fields including technology, health, environment, and logistics. The first reason is that we have to wait to go to Mars when Mars and Earth are closer together, which takes less time to travel. We need to improve our current rocket technology so that it takes less time to travel to Mars. According to scientists, if all goes well, you will get to the red planet in about 7 or 8 months. It's a lot of time. Extended space travel poses risks such as radiation, exposure, and muscle atrophy. The second problem is serious. Mars is about 225 million kilometers from the Sun and as a result, very little sunlight reaches Mars. So solar power less effective than on Earth. Nuclear power could be alternative, but it comes with its own set of technical and safety challenges. These are technological problems. Now I will tell you biological problems. Even if technology solves the problems, solving the biological problems will not be very simple. Mars lacks a magnetic field and has a thin atmosphere, providing little protection from cosmic and solar radiation. Prolonged exposure to this radiation can increase the risk of cancer and other health issues. Also, Mars gravity is about 38% of Earth's, which could lead to muscle and bone loss over time. Long-term health effects of living in reduced gravity are not fully understood. Isolation, confinement, and distance from Earth could lead to psychological stress and mental health issues among colonies. Not only these things, but Martian dust are pervasive and can interfere with machinery, habitats, and health. The dust is also potentially toxic if inhaled over long periods. Mars is so cold than Earth because Mars has a temperature of about minus 125 degrees Celsius during winter nights to 20 degrees Celsius during summer days. On the other way, establishing a human presence on Mars offers numerous potential benefits spanning scientific, economic, and survival aspects. Mars exploration can provide significant insights into the planet's geology, climate, and potential for past life. The challenges of colonizing Mars drive innovation in various fields, including robotics, artificial intelligence, life support system, and sustainable energy solutions. Mars may have valuable resources such as water, ice, minerals, and potentially rare metals. In situ resource utilization could reduce the cost of mission and create economic opportunities for mining and resource extraction. Now let's see why Titan is better placed than Mars. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn and the second largest moon in the solar system. You will be surprised to hear, Titan is bigger than our planet Mercury. Colonizing Titan, Saturn's largest moon, offers a range of potential benefits. Titan's dense atmosphere and surface lakes of liquid methane and ethane provide a natural laboratory for studying prebiotic chemistry. Titan's dense atmosphere and low gravity make it an ideal location for exploring new forms of aviation and transportation technologies, such as airships or drones that could be used in other low-gravity environments. Titan is rich in hydrocarbons such as methane and ethane, which could be harvested for fuel. 
these resources could provide not only local energy needs but also provide fuel for further space exploration missions. Water ice on Titan can be processed into oxygen and hydrogen, essential for life support and fuel, making in-situ resource utilization a critical component of sustainable colony. Establishing a colony on Titan serves as a safeguard for humanity. In the event of a catastrophic event on Earth, having a self-sustaining outpost on Titan would ensure the survival and continuity of human civilization. Diversifying human presence across multiple celestial bodies reduces the risk of extinction from localized disasters such as asteroid impacts or severe climate change on Earth. Now here comes the main part. Titan's atmosphere is primarily nitrogen, similar to Earth, and is about 1.5 times denser than Earth's atmosphere. This dense atmosphere provides better protection against space radiation compared to Mars' thin atmosphere, reducing the need for heavy radiation shielding. While Titan is extremely cold around minus 179 degrees Celsius, it has more stable temperatures compared to Mars, which experiences more significant temperature fluctuations from day to night and between seasons. Stability can be beneficial for designing habitats and life support systems. Titan has abundant hydrocarbons including vast lakes of liquid methane and ethane, which could be used as fuel and raw materials for chemical process. These resources are more accessible than some of Mars resources, potentially simplifying resource utilization. Titan has significant amounts of water ice, which can be converted into liquid water, oxygen and hydrogen. While Mars also has water ice, Titan's ice is more uniformly distributed and potentially easier to access in some regions. The thick atmosphere of Titan provides significant protection from cosmic and solar radiation, reducing the risk of long-term health issues for colonies. Mars' thin atmosphere offers minimal protection, necessitating extensive radiation shielding for habitats and spacesuits. Titan's dense atmosphere and low gravity make it ideal for various forms of aerial transportation such as balloons, airships, and drones. This could be more efficient for exploration and transportation compared to Mars, while the thin atmosphere poses challenges for aerodynamics. While both Mars and Titan present unique challenges and opportunities, Titan's thick atmosphere, abundant resources, and stable environmental conditions offer several advantages for potential colonization. However, the extreme cold and distance from Earth pose significant hurdles. Ultimately, the choice between Mars and Titan will depend on the specific goals and priorities of future space missions and colonization efforts. Even if NASA or Elon Musk wanted it, it is not possible at the moment with our current technology. Maybe in the future, it will be possible. Which do you think is the best place for colonization? Titan or Mars? Let me know in the comments. See you again with another such exciting video. Till then, keep watching these videos. And yes, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.